peace on earth and throughout the solar empire. Its supreme ruler, Tsar, sends his little son, Dino, on an interstellar grand tour aboard a space yacht. To all appearances, it is simply part of princely education for his heir and only child. The hidden purpose is known to Tsar himself alone. Prince Dino, the only nine, is singularly precocious, a boy much spoiled and yet brought up under strict disciplines. He is traveling on a grand space yacht attended by a large retinue, companions and pals about his own age and of his own choice. But Tsar has seen fit to appoint a young priest to be a mentor for the prince, and as tutor, a brilliant scholar, equally young. The one to lighten his spirit, the other to load his mind with the accumulated knowledge of 10,000 years. But nothing weighs heavier on Dino than the burden of being a prince. The space yacht cruises in regal splendor through the black, boundless void. Not all the amenities aboard can keep the prince from the army and a nameless haunting. When left to himself in his den, he burrows into the remote past to write down and relive those happy, carefree days in his previous life. Dino gazes at the twinkling stars, a wistful shade in his gentian blue eyes, an ancient nursery rhyme comes to his mind. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Then he mutters, twinkle, twinkle, little star, now we all know what you are. Up in the dark space called the sky, a mass of burning gas so high. The little diamond a child likens it turns through signs into a terrifying mass of burning helium and hydrogen a hundred thousand times bigger than the earth on which he stands. Thank you.